Hi, I'm Bill McAnally with Touchstone Energy and the Together We Save program. The next section we want to show is uh, air infiltration and how we can stop that so that the insulation uh, can, can work correctly and we control air and we control moisture vapor. What we have here is on this side, we have improperly installed fiberglass. You can see that there's huge gaps. It's been folded over, a poor job of insulating and cutting around this box. A huge hole here, it's been folded over. This is typical, this is very typical of a wall where this is an R11, you can get down into here, of course it's zero, might be R3. So the whole wall cavity is performing very poorly. Um, in fact, this would not be acceptable on a uh, lead project or any, uh, usually a government project would not accept this type of installation. Also what we're showing is around this electrical box, air movement can constantly be going back and forth. And so if the house is under a positive pressure and you have any amount of humidity in the house, it's going to drive that vapor back through and around this receptacle to the outside. And if you're sheeted with plywood or OSB rather than foam, you've got a very good chance of having some mold growth or maybe some uh, wood rot, but especially on cold days, a lot of condensation behind there. So what we've done is shown a proper fiberglass insulation. It fills the complete cavity. It's cut correctly around the box. And this orange perimeter right here is another box called a Lesco box. Now this box is nailed to the stud. It has a back in it and a flange all the way around. So the smart vapor retarder, the certainty membrane, is sealed with acoustical caulk around this flange so there's no way that any air can go in or out this receptacle. You can put your hand here, 40 mile an hour wind outside, you're not gonna feel anything. This whole stud cavity then is completely sealed. What we're showing is where there's, a, say, a lap on the vapor retarder, you would seal it with acoustical caulking. And wherever you're gonna have any possible air infiltration uh, issues, say around a window where you're sealing this around the, the uh, interior window frame, you want to use the acoustical caulking, called, it's also called black death. It's very messy, very sticky, but it doesn't dry out, and it is inert. So uh, there's, there's not so many issues with uh, indoor air quality with it. Um, we also want to highlight on, on this display when people come up and talk, be sure and show them here are your most common air leaks, um, especially around the foundation where any pipes, any vents, anything goes through that building envelope. Um, we also really want to highlight the attic. Um, luckily here in Iowa we don't have a whole lot of ductwork in the attic. But if they do have ductwork in the attic, we really want to make sure that it is completely insulated, that they don't use flex duct, they use hard duct that's insulated, and then insulate over the top, usually with cellulose, so that there's no air leakage there. Make sure that all of those fittings are sealed so there's no pressure of, of warm air going into the attic. Make sure that they check all of the lights, all of the wires going in the attic, that they're sealed with small foam cans to stop that air movement from going into the attic. But you can really spend a lot of time with the customers showing them exactly some areas where they can do themselves of making the house uh, uh, tighter and making it more efficient.